Hello. Good evening, everyone. Let's see, how are you, Magdalena? Hi. Hi, how are you? Good, and you? I'm great, thank you so much for asking. Very good to have you in class. What about you, Renato, how are you? Hi, hi, thank you. Are you, teacher? I'm great, thank you so much for asking. <laughs> All right, welcome Very back good. to your English class. Let me see, Jose, how are you, Jose Mose? Nice, good evening, and you, how are you? I'm pretty good, thank you so much for asking. Welcome back to your English class. Let me see, Leonardo, how are you, Leonardo? ¿Qué tal, como si yo? De salud. Um, un poquito mejor, ingeniera. Perdón. <laughs> Perdón un poquito. No, ya no. Ay, disculpe, es que como, como estoy estudiando la ingeniería, la poca, la mala costumbre. Sí, no se preocupe. A todo el mundo sí. le pasa. Cuando uno sí, también es... lo llama licenciados y ya no está después ahí y se sigue llevando bien con esa persona, uno tiene esa maña de decir licenciado, licenciado. Y ya no es necesario. Ajá, la, la costumbre como en las clases con ellos, ingenieros, son todos, ¿verdad? Not exactly, you're right. Ok, no se preocupe, Leonardo, pero si sí, todavía se escucha mal de salud. Espero sí. que se logre recuperar, all right? La TR. Muchas gracias. Thank you. All right, let me see who else do we have. Ok, we're, we're going to start the class, just, yeah, we're missing for quite some time. Let's see, Álvaro Calderón, how are you? Very fine, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. ¿Qué tal, Álvaro? Ya terminó completa la section five, right? Sí, ya está completa, teacher. Gracias. Very good. I'm happy for it. All right, everybody. Welcome back to your English class. As per usual, it's a pleasure to have you. Como es usual, es un placer tenerlos en la clase, right? Uh, voy a compartir con ustedes la PPT que tenemos para esta clase. Y tal vez en eso vamos esperando que otros eh, participantes se vayan conectando. All right, ¿qué tenemos por aquí? Today is Tuesday, October 19, 2021. Ahora vamos a finalizar completamente la section 5, right? Y lo bueno es que todavía tenemos un día para poder realizar el examen, así que mañana vamos a ver el review del examen. What are you doing? Class 14. Right, let me move on. Tenemos este vocabulary que ya le estábamos practicando con él y hacíamos algunas eh, menciones en cuanto a la pronunciation del vocabulario, right? Necesitamos, por ejemplo, en vez de decir am, no, I am, como es usual que todos digamos, right? I am. Aquí vamos a decir am, porque esa es la pronunciación de estas palabras alfabéticamente hablando, right? Entonces vamos a probar. Let's see. Vamos a comenzar con este vocabulary. Voy a tener a Renato, please. ¿Me dice este vocabulario? Ok. It's one o'clock. It's one o five. It's five after one. It's one fifteen. It's a quarter after one. It's one a two. It's one Forty is twenty two two. It's one forty five. It's quarter to two. Excellent, sir. Very good. Very, very good. Thank you. Thank you very much, teacher. All right. Excellent. Um, let's go with Jose. Jose, me da este vocabulary, please. Este cuadrito. ¿Cuál, cuál, cuál, perdón? Este. Todo. No, es. Si quiere todo, está bien, porque ayer no pasó en esta parte. Ok, todo entonces. All right. It's one o'clock. It's one o five. It's five after one. It's one fifteen. It's a quarter after one. It's one thirty. It's one forty. It's twenty to two. It's forty five. It's one forty-five. It's a quarter to two. In 
the morning, a.m., noon, p.m., in the afternoon, p.m., in the evening, p.m., at night, p.m., midnight, a.m. All right, sir. Very good. Very good translation. I have a question. Uh huh. Let me know. Si yo digo ejemplo, it's one and half is correct. Yeah, it's correct. It's one and a half. Okay. All right. Excellent. Very good. Let's go with. Let me see. Magdalena Benitez, please. It's what? Which one? Oh. The first one. Okay. This one. It's one o'clock. It's one o five. It's five after one. It's one fifteen. It's a quarter after one. It's one thirty. It's one forty. It's twenty two. It's one forty five. It's a quarter to two. All right, excellent, very good, thank you. All right, let's move on. This is just a small review, right? A short review. We have the practice time, okay? Um, as far as I remember, hasta donde yo recuerdo, ayer veíamos todavía esta information, right? Aquí tenemos dos maneras de decirlo. En la primera picture, tenemos dos maneras de decir la hora. En la segunda picture, tenemos tres maneras. En la tercera picture tenemos dos de nuevo. Y en la tercera picture tenemos también dos. Y en la cuarta es lo mismo, right? Dos. Pero para la última tenemos tres maneras diferentes de expresar time, right? So I'm going to have Sachil. Hi, Sachil. Welcome. Hi, everybody. All right. So let's see, Sachil. Can you please give me the honors? Tell me this vocabulary. It's seven o'clock in the morning. It's seven a.m. It's twelve o'clock. It's twelve p.m. It's noon. It's four o'clock in the afternoon. I know. Wait a minute. It's four o'clock in the afternoon. It's four p.m. It's seven o'clock in the evening. Evening. It's 7 p.m. It's 10 o'clock at night. It's 10 p.m. It's 12 o'clock at night. It's 12 a.m. It's midnight. All right, excellent, Sachil. Very good. Thank you. Now I'm going to have Alvaro Calderon, please. Tell me this vocabulary. Okay. It's seven o'clock in the in the morning. It's seven a.m. It's twelve o'clock. It's twelve p.m. It's noon. It's four o'clock in the afternoon. It's four p.m. It's seven o'clock in the evening. It's seven p.m. It's ten o'clock at night. It's ten p.m. It's 12 o'clock at night. It's 12 a.m. It's midnight. All right, thank you so much. Hey, everybody, look at you. Not all, none of you had any issues with the pronunciation. Todos estuvieron perfect with this part, all right? Tanto el anterior, el vocabulario del anterior como en esta. Excellent, I'm happy for you, all right? Aprender a decir este tipo de vocabulario puede parecernos como eh, miss, quizás no es mucho, en realidad sí, all right? La mayoría de personas nos cuesta expresar esto, entonces lo mejor es que siempre sigamos practicando y cuando ya lo logramos decir sin tener ningún error eh, al hablar, it's perfect, it's amazing. So, congratulations. Let's go with intonation, all right? Esta parte sí nos hizo falta ayer. Right? Let me see. ¿Qué tenemos por aquí? Intonation. Estamos hablando de la entonación que nosotros le vamos a dar a las preguntas. Right? Usualmente, quizás en nuestro idioma, la mayoría del tiempo hablamos like in here, right? No hacemos variaciones de la entonación, no cambiamos mucho. Pero esta práctica nos va a ayudar a que al menos en el inglés no nos suceda eso. Right? 
¿Qué tenemos por aquí? Dice, notice the intonation of just no and double H questions. Listen carefully, all right? Escuchemos atentamente. Is she getting up? Are they sleeping? You see, my intonation goes up. It's a rising intonation. Más adelante les voy a mostrar una información que habla de eso, right? Es poquita. Mientras tanto, solo vamos a hacer la práctica. Luego tenemos las double H words. Ustedes ya se pueden cuáles son las double H words, ¿verdad? Porque ya hemos visto eso. Entonces, cuando hacemos preguntas con double H, la intonation cae, right? Está en bajada. What's she doing? What are they doing? Right? Do you feel the intonation? The variation? Right? So we're going to practice with all of you. I'm going to start with Magdalena Benítez, please. Vamos a hacer esta práctica, todos la vamos a hacer. Recuerde que para las yes no questions, it's a rising intonation, all right? Action. Is she getting up? Are they sleeping? What's she doing? What are they doing? All right, excellent, that's correct. Let's go with Jose, Mose. Is she getting up? Are they sleeping? What's she doing? What are they doing? Exactly. Remember to go down. Excellent. Okay. Let's go with Sachi. La primera, Miss, uh, is she getting up? Mm -hmm. Recuerde de subir. En, cuando ya va por el getting up, subir un poquito más la entonación de la voz. Is she getting up? Mm -hmm. Are they sleeping? Mm -hmm. was, was she doing? What are they doing? Excellent. That's correct. Very good. Let's go with Renato, please. Is she getting up? Is she getting up? Are they sleeping? What's she doing? What are they doing? Excellent, very good. Let's go with Álvaro Calderón. Is she getting up? Are they sleeping? What's she doing? What are they doing? Excellent, sir, very good. Let's go with... Mm, let me see who else am I missing. Ah, Lorena Lucero. Hi, Lorena. Hi. Welcome. Ok, Lorenita, estamos haciendo la intonation de las preguntas, right? Mm -hmm. La entonación que le damos a las preguntas. Y la información nos indica que si la pregunta es yes or no, o sea, de las que se responden con yes or no, entonces en esas preguntas nosotros vamos a hacer una leve elevación o una buena elevación, <ríe> como usted quiera, en esas preguntas. Pero cuando son con double WH, Vamos a bajar. Ok. Is she getting up? Are they sleeping? What's she doing? What are they doing? Excellent. Very good, Lorena. Thank you. Very good. All right, everybody. There you have it. Um, let me move on. All right. We're doing great. ¿Qué es la información que les quería mostrar en cuanto a eso? Esto. Right? Está bien basic. Solo es para que se les que, si lo quieren anotar, it's perfect, all right? It's perfect, porque así lo tienen ustedes en mente. For just no questions, it will be a rising intonation, all right? A rising intonation. For double H questions, there is a falling intonation, falling intonation, right? Va decayendo el, el, la entonación de la pregunta, all right? Vamos a ver, ya leí esta información, ahora voy a pedir su colaboración para que la pueda leer. Uh, Mario Renato, can you please read this one? ¿Puede leer la de este cuadrito amarillo? Ok, uh, for just no question, it will be raising information. Excellent, thank you. Álvaro Calderón, read this one, please. Uh, for we question. There is failing intonation. That's correct, sir. Thank you, All right? Ahí lo tienen. Esto solo para que ya nos quede bien claro. Si son yes or no, recuerden que las yes o no, 
eh, or no. Esas no quiere decir que la pregunta va a comenzar con yes o con no, right? Esas son las que comienzan con el verb to be, que las veíamos las clases pasadas y ya la veíamos ayer también, right? Y las double H son las que vamos a ver a partir de ahora, right? So let's see everybody, let's move on. We have quite a lot of content today. Conversation, I'm really hungry, right? Es probable que ese sea el caso si todavía no han cenado. I'm really hungry. Están hambrientos, right? So let's see. We have a Steve and mom. Let me tell you the pronunciation and then it's going to be your turn. Hi, mom. What are you doing, Steve? I'm cooking. Why are you cooking now? It's two o'clock in the morning. Well, I'm really hungry. What are you making? Pizza. Mmm, pizza. Now I'm getting hungry. Let's eat. All right? So let's see. Let me have... We're going to work in pairs as per usual with conversations. Vamos a trabajar en parejas como es usual en las conversaciones, right? Voy a tener a Lorena Lucero. Usted va a ser mom, right? Mother. And Jose Mose, usted va a ser Steve. Action. Hi, Mom. What are you doing, Steven? I'm cooking. Where are you cooking now? It's two o'clock in the morning. Well, I'm really hungry. What are you making? Pizza. Mmm, pizza. No, I getting hungry. Let's let's see. Let's eat. Let's eat. Let's eat. Excellent. Very good. Thank you, guys. Excellent. Good intonation. Good pauses when they were needed. We're doing good. Siempre respetando los signos, right? The so incredible. Thank you. Let's go with such it. Such it. Your mom. And let me see. Alvaro Calderon, you are Steve. Action. Hi, mom. What are you doing, Steve? I'm cooking. We are you cooking now? It's two o'clock in the morning. Well, I'm really hungry. What are you making? Pizza. Mm, pizza. No, I'm getting hungry. Let's eat. All right, excellent, thank you, very good. Good pronunciation, good pauses when they were needed. We're doing good, great, excellent. Now let's have Mario Renato and Magdalena Benitez. Mario, usted va a ser Steve, y Magdaleta, Magdalena, I'm sorry. <laughs> Magdalena, you are mom, action. Okay, hi mom, Magdalena. What are you doing, Mario? I am cooking. What are you cooking now? It's two o'clock in the morning. Well, I'm really hungry. What are you making? Pizza. Mm, pizza. Now I'm getting hungry. Let's eat. Congratulations, Magdalena. <laughs> Excellent. Very good. Thank you, guys. All right. We're doing good. Great. Now, let's see. Do you feel that you have any issue with this pronunciation? ¿Hay alguna palabra que ustedes sienten que les puede costar pronunciar? Sí, Miss, el, al, al final dice un pizza, now, I, eh, dígame esa parte, ¿cómo era? Now, I'm getting hungry. Now, I'm getting hungry. Uh -huh, excellent, very good. Aquí no podemos decir hungry, right? Aquí es hungry. Okay, y esta es getting. Getting. Right? Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Excellent. ¿Alguien más que tenga una consulta en la pronunciation? Teacher, yo siempre mm -hmm. tiendo a getting, siempre a getting. Siempre tiendo a, a decir, a, 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 a sonar así, a hacer ese sonido, getting. Pero ¿Aquí getting. en esta palabra? Sí. Ajá, getting. Ya, yeah, fíjese que quizás son... 
eh, maña que uno tiene, right, al hablar, como que se, se nos puede olvidar a veces, porque también he escuchado que eh, algunas personas dicen heading, pero no, aquí es getting, la pronunciación correcta uh -huh. es getting, right, solo, teacher, ajá, decir, eh, nomás una consulta, ajá, eh, cuando hay doble T, casi siempre en las palabras se pronuncia como R, porque está el caso, por ejemplo, que cuando hay dos O en una palabra, por ejemplo, NUN uh -huh. o hacer NUN, siempre se pronuncian como U. Uh -huh. ¿Es, es, ¿Es el caso? Fíjese que, to be honest, nunca me habían preguntado eso, <risa> right? <risa> Buena pregunta, pero en realidad sí. Sí es aplicable, porque ya aquí no podemos decir getting, right? Aquí es getting, se pronuncia como, como si llegara a tener R. Así que es aplicable, Álvaro. Okay, okay, gracias. Excellent. Any other question? No questions? Are we doing great? Uh -huh. Es que yo creo que como ahorita estamos aprendiendo, uh -huh. entonces uh -huh. quizás como el nervio y, y que, que lo queremos, a que quiero terminar ya, vea, entonces <risa> la pronunciación mal, vea. No, pero lo están haciendo bien, por eso les dije desde el principio cuando me dieron este vocabulary. Nítido. Yo creí que quizás me iban a decir, porque sí ya experimenté eso con otros grupos que me dijeron, uh, en este caso, de la AM, me dijeron I am de nuevo. Entonces yo dije, ah, versión practicado, dije, sí. Pero sí, están bien, han mejorado bastante en la pronunciation. Siempre, miren, siempre van a haber palabras que nos van a costar un poquito más que otras. Y la única manera de superar eso es practicándola, practicándola. Si ustedes pueden escribirla en un cuaderno y practicarla all day long, eso les va a facilitar mucho el proceso. All right? Pero no, no se preocupen hasta aquí. Thank no you. encontré que ver algo más. Yes, Thank you. Thank you. Right. <laughs> Very good. Sí, aquí vamos a tener más vocabulary action. action. All right? Aquí vamos. Present continuous double H questions. Right? Ya aquí tenemos una pregunta estándar para todas estas pictures. All right, vamos a variar las ciudades y las respuestas, of course, pero la pregunta es estándar para todos. Los Angeles, 4 a.m. What's Victoria doing? She's sleeping right now. Mexico City, 6 a.m. What's Marcus doing? It's 6 a.m., so he's getting up. New York City, 7 a.m. What are Sue and Tom doing? They are having breakfast. All right, breakfast. I'm going to have all of you in this practice. Todos, la mayoría vamos a practicar en esta parte porque son nueve pictures, all right? Pero sí me interesa que trabajemos mucho cómo soltar más la lengua para poder repetir bien, right? So let's see, voy a comenzar con... Um, Magdalena Benítez, please tell me the vocabulary. Los Angeles, 4 a.m. What's Victoria doing? She's sleeping right now. Mexico City, 6 a.m. What's Marco doing? It's 6 a.m., so he's getting up. New York City, 7 a.m. What are Sue and Tom doing? They're having breakfast. All right, excellent, very really good. Thank you so much. Let's go with Lorena Lucero, please. Los Angeles, 4 a.m. What's Victoria doing? She is sleeping right now. Mexico City, 6 a.m. What's Marcos doing? It's uh, 6 a.m. She ships getting out. New York City, 7 a.m. What are you Sue and Tom doing? They having a breakfast. All right, excellent, Lorena. Very good. Solo que Lorenita aquí es. So he's getting up. 
So he's, so he's getting yes. out. Uh -huh. Excellent. Yes, so es que le escuché un shit. All right. So he's, uh, okay. Yes, Thank, Thank you. Let's go with Jose, please. Okay. Los Angeles, 4 a.m. What's Victoria doing? She's sleeping right now. Mexico City, 6 a.m. What's Marco, Marcos doing? It's 6 a.m., so he's getting up. New York City, 7 a.m. What are Sue and Tom doing? They are having breakfast. All right, excellent, sir. Thank you. Let's go with Alvaro Calderon. What's Victoria doing? She's at, pardon, Los Angeles for a.m. What's Victoria doing? She is sleeping right now. Mexico City, 6 a.m. What's Marcos doing? It's 6 a.m. So he's getting up. New York City, 7 a.m. What are Sui and Tom doing? They are having breakfast. All right, excellent. Thank you, Alberto. Let's go with Sachil, please. Los Angeles, 4 a.m. What's Victoria doing? She is sleeping right now. Mexico City, 6 a.m. What's Marco doing? It's 6 a.m. So he's headed up, headed up. New York City, 7 a.m. Where, where, what are Sue and Tom doing? They having, having friends? No. Breakfast. Having, having, having breakfast. Ajá, uh -huh. excellent. That's correct. Sí, esta palabrita es breakfast, que significa desayuno, right? Breakfast. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Thank you, Sachi. I'm sorry. <laughs> and the last person is going to be Darwin Campos, please. Los Angeles, 4 a.m. What Victoria doing? She's sleeping right now. Mexico City, 6 a.m. What Marco doing? It's 6 a.m. So she's getting, getting out. Yeah, that's correct. Getting out. York, uh, getting out. New York City, 7 a.m. What are two and Tom doing? They are having breakfast. All right, excellent. Thank you, Darwin. Let's see, everyone. This is vocabulary, right? So take it easy. If you feel that, esto es vocabulario, así que hay que tomarlo, hay que escucharlo bien, hay que pronunciarlo, pero no hay que acelerarnos tanto, right? Si tienen alguna consulta en esta parte del vocabulary, ustedes pueden preguntarme, mis, ¿cómo se repite esto? One more time. Y yo les ayudo antes de pasar al siguiente. Do you have any? Right. Aquí donde está en New York City, Miss. Uh -huh. Abajo. Todavía estoy yo así como que. Ah, vaya. Practiquemos. They are. They are. Having. Having. Breakfast. Breakfast. Uh -huh. Breakfast. Break. Ah, como break. Fast. Uh -huh. ah, exactly. Ah, sí, sí, sí. Sí, ya entendí. Ya, ya. Very good. Excellent. All right, everyone. Let's move on. Okay. Ah, uh, esto se ve un poco. Excelente, right? <laughs> Tratemos de darle zoom y lo vamos a ver bien. All right, let's see. ¿Qué tenemos por aquí? Brasilia, 9 a.m. Recuerden la M suena como M, right? No N. 9 a.m. What's Celia doing? She's going to work. London, 12 noon, right? Podemos decir 12 p.m. 
o podemos decir noon. London, noon. What are James and Anna doing? It's noon, so they are having lunch. Masque, 3 p.m. What's Andre doing? He's working. All right, so now it's your turn, guys. Let me start with Melvin Benavides. So, good evening. Good evening, welcome. Okay, uh, Brasilia, 9 a.m. What's Celia doing? She is going to work. London, uh, 12 noon. What are James and Anna doing? It's noon, so they're having lunch. Moscow, 3 p.m. What are you doing? He's working. Right, excellent, really good. Thank you, Melvin. Let's have okay. Lorena Lucero, please. Brasilia. 9 a.m. What's Cecilia doing? She's going to work. London. Ahí sí no me acuerdo cómo se dice la 12. 12? 12 noon. Mm -hmm. right. Where are James and I'm doing? It's noon, creo que es, uh, no, no le alcanzo a distinguir la letra. Sí, it's noon. So, uh -huh. it's, it's noon, so they, they are having in lunch. Moscú, 3 p.m. Sería PM. p.m. He's working. Ah, no leí. What's Andre doing? All right, excellent. Thank you. Lorena, very good. Let's go with Sachild. Brasilia, 9 a.m. What's Celia doing? She's going to work. London, 12 noon. What are James and Annie doing? It's noon. So they're having lunch. Moscow. 3 p.m. What's Andrew doing? He is working. All right, excellent, very good. Let's go with Jose Moss, please. Brasilia, 9 a.m. What's Celia doing? She's going to work. London, 12 p.m. What are James and Annie doing? It's noon, so they are having lunch. Moscow, 3 p.m. What's Andrew doing? He's working. All right, excellent, thank you, sir. Let's go with Mario Renato, please. Excuse me, sorry, my internet is bad. Ah, don't worry, it happens, no se preocupe. Okay. Uh, uh, what is Celia doing? She's going to work. Uh, what are James and Anne doing? It's noon. So they they are having lunch. What's Andre doing? He's working. All right, excellent, Master. Right, thank you, Mario. Very good. Okay. Let's you. have a Darwin Campos, please. What Cecilia doing? Ah, Brazilian. Mm -hmm. Night a. Um. What Cecilia doing? She is going to work. London twelve noon. What What are James and Anna doing? It's noon, so they are having lunch. Moscow, 3 p.m. What Andrew's doing? He's working. 
All right, excellent. Thank you. Let's go with Magdalena Benitez, please. Brasilia, 9 a.m. What's Celia doing? She's going to work. London, 12 noon. What are James and Anne doing? It's noon, so they're having lunch. Moscow, 3 p.m. What's Andrew doing? He's working. All right, excellent, thank you. And let me see, Alvaro Calderon, please. Brasilia, 9 a.m. What's Celia doing? She's going to work. London, 12 noon. What are James and Annie doing? It's noon, so they are having lunch. Moscow, 3 p.m. What's Andre doing? He's working. All right, excellent, sir. Thank you. All right, everyone, everybody, we finally arrived to this part, all right? This is like the last vocabulary so far. Well, not the last one, but it's almost the last one, all right? The last vocabulary that we have. Este es casi que el último vocabulary con el cual vamos a poder practicar. Tenemos dos cities más. Tenemos dos ciudades más. Después de esa, va la de nosotros, right? If you live in San Salvador City, in Apopa City, in Soyapango City, Lopango City, MC, right? Ahí van a hacerlo ustedes de acuerdo a su ejemplo. Aquí, en esta tercera, todos van a hacer su ejemplo, right? Van a poner, for example, San Salvador City, let me see, 8.30, let me see, 8.34, let's suppose, p.m., all right? Y luego decimos, what are you doing? Que esa es la pregunta, right? Y ya contestamos, it's, si está lloviendo donde ustedes viven, pueden decir, it's raining. Um, también pueden decir, it's evening. All right, oh, it's windy. Podemos poner un clima, whatever you want to add, okay? Luego ponemos, so I'm, I'm taking my classes on online. I'm taking my online classes. I'm driving home, si están manejando. I'm having dinner right now. Okay, cualquier action que ustedes estén realizando ahorita. Okay, let's work with this one. Bangkok, 7 p.m. What's Permsak doing? He's eating dinner right now. Tokyo, 9 p.m. What's Hiroshi doing? He's watching television, right? So let's work with that one. Les voy a dar tiempito para que creen esto on your notebooks. All right, y ya cuando pasen, solo lo van a decir. Van a pronunciar las primeras dos y luego van a decir eso. Have you finished? No, miss, one question. Uh-huh. 
Bueno, entonces en la parte donde dice, what are you doing? Yo solo voy a poner qué es lo que estoy haciendo, ¿verdad? Ajá, uh -huh, exactly. Puede y, poner, um, for example, it's evening, right? It's evening, so I'm, um, let me see. I'm learning English or I'm taking classes. Cualquier acción que usted esté realizando, right? Okay, thank you. All right, you're welcome. Se puede así, teacher. So I am having two English class. I'm having English classes, right? I'm having, uh -huh. I'm okay. Having. Finish. Excellent, very good. Entonces comencemos con usted, Alba. Tell me the vocabulary, me va a decir este vocabulario y después me va a decir su información al final. Ok. Bangkok, 7 p.m. What's, oops, cuesta leer ahí. Per. Permsac. Permsac, doing. He's eating dinner right now. Tokyo, 9 p.m. What's he. Hiroshi doing? He's watching television. Um, Lower the city, 8.40 p.m. What are you doing? It's raining. So I'm having to English class. Right? Ahí solo va a decir, I'm having, I'm having English class. I'm having English, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Excellent. No se Thank falta you. You're welcome, okay. sir. Good. Somebody else? Alguien que ya haya finalizado también? Teacher. Hi. Ah. Hi, Melvin. Uh, Antiguo Cuscarlán City. A3. A3. City Fall PM. What are you doing? Exciting. I am in, I am watching television. So, I don't know. <laughs> Excellent, it's very okay good at watching or... television. Okay. It's correct. Sí, aquí ustedes te escogen si quieren poner una sola actividad o desean hacer énfasis en el hecho de que es evening, right? Pueden hacer énfasis. También, como dijo Álvaro, it's raining o it's windy. O oh, it's cloudy. Ustedes pueden hacer uso de, esa, de ese vocabulary que ustedes ya adquirieron. Right. Very good, Melvin. Thank you. ¿Alguien más? Finish. All right. Finish. Excellent. Let's get Darwin Campos and after Darwin, Jose. Bangkok, 7 p.m. What person doing? He's eating dinner right now. Tokyo. 9 p.m. What Hiroshi doing? He's watching television. Mexicano City, 8.40 p.m. Uh, what are you doing in the class, in the having English class? All right, excellent, very good. I'm having English class, very good. Let's go with Jose. Sure. Teacher, I'm sorry, I lost uh, another uh, vocabulary. Ah, yeah. Salto este, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, tell okay. me this. Uh, Bangkok, uh, 78. What's Parsak doing? He's hiding Daniel right now. Tokyo, 9 p.m. What's Hiroshi doing? He's watching television. Okay. Excellent, sir. Thank you so much. Your turn. Okay. Bangkok, 7 p.m. What's Persak? Is correct? Yeah, it's correct. Permsak. Persak doing. He's eating dinner right now. Tokyo. 9, 9 p.m. What's Hiroshi doing? He's watching television. San Bartolo City. 8.42. What are you doing? It's 
very hot. Uh, you can help me please with the with the word. Studying. Mm -hmm. I'm studying. I'm studying. Sí, está bien. English. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Very good. Otra manera de decirlo. I'm studying English. That's correct. Um, all right. Let's see. Let's go with. Who has, who else has finished? ¿Quién más ha terminado? Yo lo voy a intentar. Ok, mm -hmm. excelente, Sachil. Bangkok, 7 p.m. What Permsak, así? Permsak. Permsak doing? He is eating dinner right now. Tokyo, 9 p.m. What Hiroshi doing? He is watching television. Uh, Santa Tecla, 8.35 p.m. Receiving English now. I'm receiving, I'm receiving English now. That's uh, correct. Repeat, repeat. I'm uh -huh. receiving. Mm. Okay. My English class, puede decir, all right? Um, okay, thank you. Excellent. All right, everybody, let's see. Vamos a movernos un poquito rapidito en esta parte, right? Los que no lograron practicar aquí, don't worry. Siempre eh, vamos a practicar en la parte siguiente. Guiding structure, all right? Ya aprendimos, Miss, la pronunciation de las preguntas utilizando double H words. Pero, ¿cómo se crean esas preguntas? We have double H word plus verb to be plus subject plus verb in ing, verbo en ing o verbo progresivo plus complement plus question mark. Right? Copien esta estructura, please, para que no se les olvide. Me hizo una consulta. Ajá. Uh -huh. Who's talking? Let me see. Ah, yo there he we go. estado buscando. En, yo he estado el... buscando. En... Sí. <risa> Vaya, gracias. Um, ¿Me ha estado buscando a dónde? Sí, yo la estaba buscando en el grupo de WhatsApp, pero ya no la encuentro. Ay. En el grupo de WhatsApp. Chale, me sacaron. <risa> no, just kidding. No, no me han sacado. Este, let me see. Darwin, ¿y usted aparece con su nombre ahí en el... Que no aparece con su nombre. Aparezco como Alex Campos. Let me see. Sí, yo sí aparezco con mi nombre porque algunos de ustedes ya me escribieron. Sí. No, no aparece con su nombre. Ah, no aparezco con mi nombre. ¿Cómo no? Sí, ah, no. Nombre. Como no, si ¿Sí sabe cuál es mi nombre, Yo right? aparezco. Sí. Alex Campos, bueno, yo ya lo encontré, ya le voy a escribir para que me digan que necesita ayuda. Ah, vaya. Right? Vaya, Alex. gracias, amigo. Darwin, si usted ya me había escrito anteriormente. Sí, mi, pero yo borro las conversaciones. All right, excellent. Don't worry, no se preocupe, ya le escribí ahorita. Bye. Gracias. All right, everybody, ya tienen esta structure, let's move on. Enough time, right? Tenemos estos guiding examples. Let's see, Jose Moss, can you please read number one and two, e, Sochil, three and four? What is Marcos eating right now? What are they doing? 
Number three, what are Michelle and Jessica drinking? Number four, what am I saying? What am I saying? What am I saying? Mm -hmm. That's correct, excellent, very good. Bueno, estos solo son ejemplos eh, cortitos, right? De cómo utilizarlo. Tenemos una practice, pero necesitarles este vocabulary, porque ya es lo último de la plataforma. Después de eso solo queda una conversation y that's enough, right? Pero este vocabulary sí me urge. Vamos a hacer una cosa. Eh, take into consideration, tomen en consideración esto. Para, para mañana vamos a comenzar la clase con esta practice time, right? Me van a crear dos questions utilizando double H, right? Como los ejemplos que dieron, ya tienen la estructura, solo van a crear dos questions. In present progressive. Right. Take a look at this one. No se les olvide. Mañana comenzamos con eso. Y así aprovechan ustedes. Como mis tuve problemas al crear esto, no sé por qué. Ya me explican. Y así yo les puedo ayudar. Right. So let's move on. We have activities in present progressive. Right. Ahora sí, miren, aquí tienen, tienen estas activities en, de manera normal. Right. No las tienen en progresivas todavía. Vamos a practicarlas así y luego van a tener también otra practice time. Play tennis, ride a bike, run, swim. Aquí con esta palabra que significa nadar, no es swim o swim, no, es swim, swim. Take a walk, take a walk, dance, drive. Go to the movies, shop, read, study, watch television. Ok, so los que no practicaron en la actividad anterior, ahora sí les voy a pedir su ayuda, right? Mario Renato, please, tell me this vocabulary. Uh, play tennis, ride and bike, run, swim, take a walk, dance, drink, go to the movies. Shop, read, study, watch television. All right, excellent, sir. Thank you. Let's have Lorena Lucero, please. Play tennis, ride a bike, run, swim, take a walk, dance, drive, go to the movies, shop, read, study, watch television. Excellent, thank you. And the last person that I think that didn't practice the last time is Magdalena Benitez, please. Okay, play tennis, ride a bike, run, swim, take a walk, dance, drive, go to movies, shop, read, study, watch television. All right, excellent, very good. Now listen everyone, ven ustedes aquí estas este vocabulary, right? ¿Qué vamos a hacer? Hay algunos que tienen como nouns y tienen el verbo al principio. Por ejemplo, este de ride a bike. Ride es mi verbo. Entonces, si yo lo quiero hacer progresivo, voy a decir riding, right? Riding. Um, ¿Cuál otra? Take a walk, right? Aquí tengo dos verbos, take y walk. Entonces, pero el principal es el que voy a convertir en progresivo. Taking a walk, right? Luego, go to the movies. El, el único verbo que tengo aquí es go, right? Entonces, a ese yo le voy a aplicar mi ing. Going to the movies, right? Lo mismo para watch television. Vamos a decir watching television, right? Ya tienen este vocabulary. ¿Qué vamos a hacer? Practice time. So, it. ¿me lee las instructions, please? Uh, take a look at the picture, why sentences in question progressive. Excellent, thank you. Pueden crear una oración o dos si lo desean utilizando este vocabulary, pero tienen que ser en progresiva. Puede ser en negativa porque ya sabemos utilizar el negativo o pueden hacerla en positiva, right? Ustedes deciden. Let's work.
recuerde que, recuerden que pueden utilizar diferentes subjects, right? Por ejemplo, eh, Anita is riding a bike. Okay? Vamos a utilizar distintos subjects. Have you finished? ¿Cómo vamos? I finished. Excellent. Ok, Magdalena, tell me yours. He's playing tennis. She's riding a bike. She's running. All right, excellent. Very really good. Simple questions, right? Yeah. Let's have Jose. She's playing tennis. She's run, running. Mm -hmm. All right, excellent. They're swimming. They're swimming. All right, very good. That's correct, sir. Thank you. Alguien más? Teacher. Yes, Magdalena. Why do you put double N in running and double P in shopping? Double P in shopping. Fíjese de que la regla gramatical, de hecho, esas son reglas gramaticales que en theory deberíamos de verlas, right? De teoría, como lo mismo para el simple present. Pero siempre menciona que se va a doblar la siguiente letra que le sigue cuando se termina con una letra del alfabeto, right? A no ser que sea vocal, si termina, por ejemplo, en esta de right, en este caso yo elimino la vocal y le pongo el ing solo. Pero cuando termina con una letra del alfabeto, la voy a doblar. Es decir, voy a poner otra. Pero son casos especiales. No suceden con todos los verbs. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, everybody. Listen, I know you must take your time. Sé que para hacer estas oraciones debemos tomarnos nuestro tiempo, right? Así que vamos a hacer una cosa. Para los que no pudieron practicar ahora, participar, también tienen ahora two homeworks, right? Dos tareas. Tienen que crear sus sentences para mañana. Si quieren crear más de dos, it's okay. No hay ningún problema, right? Y si no, pueden quedarse con una o con dos. All right, everybody. That was pretty much it for today's class. It was a pleasure to see you, and I will see you in tomorrow's class. Bye. Thank you. Bye, teacher. Bye.